Good morning, my friends. Good morning. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Lone Wolf Mountain for what is sure to be a wet adventure. Already it's raining outside, it's getting windy, and the forecast is for storms later on today. It's early, it's about 6.15, and it's time for some coffee. Cheers, my friends. Cheers. Oh, yeah. That is Guatemalan coffee, and it is delicious. Let's start off by taking a look at the weather forecast. And let's talk about not only the weather, but also the air quality. Right now, 54 degrees, light rain. Chance of showers and rain before 3 p.m., then showers and thunderstorms between 3 and 5, and showers likely after 5 o'clock. High today, 65 degrees. It's going to be breezy with gusts up to 22 miles per hour. Rain amounts around a quarter of an inch. Tonight, showers, thunderstorms, so on and so forth. As far as the air quality goes, we are under what is called a code red air quality action day. And that's because of the wildfires up in Canada. All of that smoke is coming down this way and it's up here in the mountains. So right now, being outside is considered dangerous. It's just one of those things that we have to deal with for today. That may not be accurate. It may be something that we have to deal with not only for today, but maybe for days, weeks, who knows. I'm looking at the news here and it says east coast skies engulfed with dangerous haze. 13 states have alerts issued as thick fumes have blocked the sky and sent people indoors. There's over 160 forest fires currently active in Canada and these fires are being fueled by high temperatures and dry conditions. Yeah, it is what it is folks. That's going to be an unknown element for this trip. We're out here, Lone Wolf Mountain, inside of this. I'm not sure how well this is going to protect us from that. I'm not sure if it's going to be an issue. I just don't know. What I do know is that it's very smoky, very hazy outside. You really can't see it like when you're like looking at the trees, like up close, but when you're looking at anything at a distance, you can see just how hazy it is. And it's been that way for like the last week or so, but apparently today it's going to be worse than the other days. tell you everybody this morning has been flying by already it's about eight o'clock 
that means it's breakfast time. So here in a minute, I'll make breakfast. I just want to enjoy this just a little bit longer. With this trip here, this is going to be very much off of the cuff. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen? I don't. And again, that's because we have the smoke, the haze, the particulates in the air. I came out last night about midnight. That's when I got here. And that's because I knew that the rain would be coming in early. So I figured I'd just come out last night, sleep here in the cabin, which I slept great. The temperatures this morning, again, are perfect. It's 55 degrees right now, and it feels fantastic. It's raining again, my friends. It's light, but it's definitely raining. So I went ahead, shut the door. Let's go ahead, let's make breakfast, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do today.
My friends, this looks and smells incredible. So what I have here basically is a wrap. Scrambled eggs, salt, pepper, garlic, dried onions, fresh tomatoes, covered in dairy-free queso. This is from a company called Fablish. I think that's how you say that. Anyway, it is amazing. I mentioned in a few episodes back that we went to a dinner party and the host, they had some dietary restrictions. There I was able to try dairy-free cheese for the first time and I'm in love with it. It is freaking amazing. Think of it as like the creamiest cheese you've ever had in your entire life. Anyways, this stuff is incredible. So let's go ahead and let's give this a shot. One thing that I messed up on here is the proportions. One gigantic wrap. I mean, it will barely even close. So it's more of a burrito, I guess. Mm. Holy crap. That is amazing. That queso. You can't have too much. The only thing I messed up on was not putting all of the queso on this. <laughs> it's got a little bit of heat to it. And some incredible flavor. That, my friends, is grade 10 right there. I have no idea where that saying comes from either. No clue. What I do know is that I suck at making wraps. Mmm. <laughs> that was really good, guys. I'm sure you all can hear it it's storming outside. The first storm of the day. The storm itself must still be pretty far away. I mean, it's not crazy or anything like that. It's just raining and I'm hearing thunder. Here in a second, I'll talk about what I use to make this breakfast, including the chopping board and the seasoning kit.
for the most part, I've got everything cleaned up. So let's go ahead and let's talk about some of the components that I'm using with this trip here. Looking at the stove, that is from Nature Hike. This is a dual burner stove, very similar to the Jetboil Genesis with one exception. It is extremely inexpensive compared to the Genesis system. The Genesis system is really cool, but it's insanely expensive. This one here, it's not bad. I really do like this stove, but there's one catch. It's not available in the United States. You can buy it on like AliExpress and that's about it. You may be able to get it in Europe, I don't know about that, but at least for the United States, you can't find it on Amazon and you can't find it at the Nature Hike website. Do I like this stove? Yes, it performs well. I will say that the adjusters are finicky and it can be hard to get it to simmer. It's not impossible, but it is a little bit difficult. This is my cutting board. And on the inside, we have a knife. This is from Snow Peak, and this is a pretty slick system. I want to say that there's multiple sizes of this, and I don't remember right off which one this is. If I can figure that out, it'll be in the description box. By the way, I have links for everything that I use in my adventures down there. Think of it as a gear list. That way, you don't have to send me a message saying, hey, Luke, what is that product? Of course, if there's something that I forgot to list, contact me, I'll help you out. But this is a very cool piece of kit. Cutting board and knife. And the knife itself is extremely sharp. In here, I have what I figured I would use the most. So we have pepper, salt, garlic, dried vegetables. We have some Cajun seasoning, some Mexican seasoning, some onions, Mediterranean, and kale. All of this goes in this canvas pouch. With the pouch itself, you receive the bottles, and those are slick. To my buddy Craig, thank you so much, my friend. I really do appreciate you, and I do appreciate this gift. Well, everyone, it's raining nicely outside, storming, and I think we're stuck inside of the cabin until it lets up. <laughs> it might just be one of those lazy days inside of the cabin. Having a lazy day here and there, there's nothing wrong with that. The thing is, like, the lazy day, it has to mean something. It has to feel good, right? If you have so many lazy days, you're not going to appreciate it. So for myself, this is just a little bit of downtime and I could use it. I've been burning the candle at both ends as the saying goes. Like I have my full-time job I'm doing that, I'm filming videos, I'm filming adventures, I'm editing all that. I stay up late, I get up early. <laughs> I could use a little bit of downtime, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just gonna kick back, listen to the rain for a bit. Oh. By the way, in the previous overnight adventure, I came across a snake out in the forest, and I asked you all what that snake was. In that video, I told you all that it was a northern water snake, and it was. I also stated that it looked very similar to a milk snake. I also said that I would talk about the differences in the future. So let's talk about the differences between a northern water snake and a milk snake. If we were comparing it to a milk snake in this area, it would be an eastern milk snake. There's two telltale signs to distinguish whether or not you're looking at a milk snake or a water snake, and it deals with the scales. The scales of a water snake are keeled, whereas milk snakes, they're smooth. The next identifier are their bellies. Water snakes are divided, whereas milk snakes, they are single. Anyways, those two snakes, they're very similar. So I asked you all in that video and also on YouTube to identify that snake. So if you said water snake or even milk snake, I'll give you points no matter what, because it's really difficult to tell the difference between those two snakes. In the case of the snake that I saw, that was a female, and they tend to be longer than the males. The males tend to be a little bit shorter and like really thick bodied, whereas the females are quite a bit longer 
and more slim. So again, if you selected Milk Snake, you still get cool points. My friends, as you all can see, the rain has ceased. For the most part, still dripping a little bit. I looked at the radar, there's not much on there for the next maybe 10, 15 minutes. After that, we have another wave coming in. In regards to the fires from Canada, we're lucky to be up here in the mountains where we're receiving rain. We have a front coming through, it's pushing some of that smoke out of here. So you can look out the window here and it doesn't look bad. If I send the drone up, then you can see that there's smoke present. And because of that, I'm unfortunately not able to go out and do what I had planned for this episode. When I was planning my trip to come out here, there was no warning about air quality. I wake up this morning, there's a code red, and because of that, it's not a good idea to be outside. My plan was to set up a tarp, have a fire outside, and unfortunately, that's not going to happen. That's not a good idea. I was also going to walk around the property with you all, set up trail cams, and also mark trees that need to be cut down. There's at least four trees that I know of, and I'm sure that there's others that need to be cut down. All of that will have to wait for now, as we are stuck inside of the cabin.
My friends, it is dinner time. What I have here is salt and pepper chicken, rice noodles, we have mixed vegetables, I added some broccoli, and I've also added some sweet teriyaki sauce to this. Also in here is some sesame oil and other spices. Yeah. Let's give this a shot. Here we go. Mm-hmm. That is incredibly good. As you walk in here, it's pouring rain. Unfortunately, everyone, we have some bad news, and that's in regards to the air quality forecast. This is what it says. The air quality alert that's in effect has been extended through Thursday night. It is now Wednesday evening. A code red alert means that air pollution concentrations within the region are unhealthy, and this is for all individuals. All groups should limit their exposure in the outdoors. Because of that, I decided to go ahead, cook up dinner, and that's because I'm going home. It is 5.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> I figured, hey, let's cook up a good meal, I'll make some coffee, then I'm heading to the house. And that's because all of the smoke, all of these particulates, they are affecting me. I'm not having any trouble breathing, but my sinuses are all sorts of jacked up. It's definitely getting to me some. Man, that's good. In truth, I've had a really good time today. Just being inside of the cabin, listening to the rain. It's been really, really nice. <laughs> It's kind of funny, I stepped out for one moment and I had a turkey fly right over the cabin into the woods. The meals that I've made on this trip have been fantastic. Unfortunately, the trip did not go according to plan. Not a single bit of this trip. <laughs> At least I did have a good overnight trip. It seems like a lot of the country is dry right now. Even here, we're still receiving quite a bit of rain, but for spring, we're still pretty dry. I'm definitely thankful for every drop we get.
Well everyone, this adventure is coming to an end. I'm all packed up, ready to go. Because the air quality is so poor for the next couple of days, I'm going to say goodbye for now. This is certainly not the adventure that I planned, but hey, things happen, that's the real world. Everybody up in Canada, be safe. Everyone experiencing smoke here in the US, be safe as well. I will see you next week with the next adventure. Everyone take care, be well, strength and honor.